hey guys welcome back with Kriti Hardy IB from now onwards we'll start agronomy series which will contain important questions from any agricultural examination point of view today we are going to start the first part of this series in this video we will discuss basic principle of crop production so let's get started first point is a very broad term encompasses all aspects of crop production livestock farming fisheries forestry etc the term is known as agriculture next one is agriculture word is derived from latin word next point is a branch of agricultural science which deals with principles and practices of soil water and crop management is known as agronomy next is agronomy word is derived from words answer is greek words two greek words are agros and nomos which means science of land management for crop production next one is crops which are cultivated on plowed land are known as arable crops arable crop production refers to the systematic use of land to grow crops to have a consistent supply of their precious produce farmers monitor how fertile their land and follow a process of preparation after the previous year's harvest example of the arable crops grain crops which are cultivated for their edible starch grains are wheat maize rice barley and millet next point is an agroforestry practice in which perennial preferably leguminous trees or shrubs are grown simultaneously with arable crop are known as la crops or hedgerow intercrops example of la crops are wheat corn soybeans or hay planted in between rows of black walnut or pecan trees next point is crop which are grown to supplement the yield of the main crop are known as augment crops example of augment crops are japanese mustard with persim here the mustard helps in getting higher tonnage of fodder in spite of the fact that persim give poor yield in first cutting next point is crops which protect another crops from trespassing of animals or restrict the speed of wind and are mainly grown as border are known as border or guard crop border and or barrier plants are a management tools based on secondary plants used within or bordering a primary crop for the purpose of disease control next point is a crop grown for direct sale rather than for livestock feed or a crop grown by a farmer primarily for sale to others rather than for his or her own use are known as cash crops example of cash crops are sugarcane tobacco etc two major commercial crops are cotton and sugarcane crops which are cultivated to catch the forthcoming season when main crop is failed are known as catch or contingent crops example of cash crops is radishes that mature from seed in 25 to 30 days can be grown between rows of most vegetable and harvested long before the main crop matures next point is a close growing crop grown primarily to improve and protect the soil from erosion through their ground covering foliage or root mats between periods of regular crop production are known as cover crops cover crops managed soil erosion soil fertility 
soil quality, water, weeds, pest, diseases, biodiversity, and wildlife in an agro-ecosystem. An ecological system managed and shaped by humans. Example of cover crops are annual ray grasses, crimson clover, oats, oilseed radishes, and cereal rye. Cover crop are grown for a variety of reasons, reducing the soil compaction. Next point is when both main and inter intercrop is benefited to each other are known as complementary crops. Example of complementary crops are kale is a fast maturing cool season vegetable that grows well intercropped with pole beans or tomatoes. Next one is the crops leave the field exhaustive after growing are known as exhaustive crops. Exhaustive crops which feed heavily on the soil and deplete the soil nutrients are known as exhaustive crops. Example is sorghum, tobacco, sunflower, etc. Next point is any crop or combination of crops in grown for grazing or harvesting for immediate or future feeding to livestock. This type of crop is known as lay crops. Lay farming is the growing of grass or legumes in rotation is with grain or till crops as a soil conservation measure. Example of lay crops is grasses and stylosanthes. This system involves the use of various annual and perennial crops as like grasses and legumes grown in long term and short term to manage the soil. So guys, that's all for today. I'll be uploading the next video soon that will cover part second of basic principle of crop production. Thank you so much guys for listening and watching my video. Thank you.